Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, give me another way where we can enter text into the text fields using Selenium. Let me answer. Direct way in Selenium to enter text into the text fields is by using the send keys command. But here, the question is all about the another way, the alternative way, okay, without using send keys, is there any other way using which we can enter text into the text fields in Selenium? Yes, there is a way with the help of JavaScript executor. We have to run some JavaScript code with the help of this JavaScript executor using which we can enter the text into the text fields. Let me practically demonstrate this right now by switching to this Eclipse IDE where we have this sample Selenium automation code which is already written for opening the Chrome browser for maximizing the browser window and here we have to open the application URL. So let's open the browser and uh, open any application URL. Copy this URL and paste it here. Once application URL is copied here, let's say there is a text uh, box field or text field, text area field, this is a text area field into which I would like to enter some text. Rightly inspect this text area field. Let's create a web element out of it. Copy this. ID locator and create a web element for the text field into which I would like to enter text never dot find element by dot ID provide the ID locator of the text area field here and uh, create a web element. Okay. I'll say text field by ELT is equal to and the return type of the find element is web element that will come when I say like this. Okay. will declare the variable will be, variable will be declared with the return type of this find element. Okay. And uh, once that is done. Now I would like to enter the text into the this particular text field without using the send keys command that is by using an alternative way that is by running some JavaScript code with the help of JavaScript as user. For that to happen, first we have to write this driver, this web driver's driver and typecast this driver with JavaScript executor class, executor class like this. Okay, put a semicolon and here say some, just give some any name, just uh, give an variable with some name like JSC or whatever it is over the mouse and say create local variable. Now over the mouse on this JavaScript executor and import it from Selenium library. After that, use this object reference that is JSC. Then write down dot execute script. Okay, this is a command for running the JavaScript code. Here in the argument, you just mentioned this uh, text field web element in the place of argument. And here to refer this. And here we have to write the JavaScript code, write double quotes. In the double quotes, we have to write the JavaScript code to refer this web element in this JavaScript code. We have to write arguments of at which uh, index this particular web element is available at zero position, zero index. Okay, give zero here. Dot there's something known as value in JavaScript is equal to whatever the value in single quotes you give because it is surrounded by double quotes, right? So better to give in single quotes. What value? Let's say I would like to enter my name into the text field. Okay, give that value. That's it. This is a JavaScript code for typing the text into the text fields. Okay. Now simply that's it. Let's run the code and see what's happening. Right click run a job application. My name should be entered into the text area field. With the help of JavaScript code, we are entering the text into the text area field. Into the text field, my name got entered, you see properly. Okay. So we have not used any direct send keys command, rather we have run the JavaScript code with the help of JavaScript executor command known as execute script command. And uh, why we have to go with this way? In real time, sometimes we have to use this way to enter the text. There may be some situations in real time where no matter what you do, into few elements, very rarely it will happen where no matter what you do or no matter whether you use send keys command, you will not be able to type some text into the text fields. Then the alternative solution that you have to use at the time is this method that is by with the help of uh, JavaScript code, we have to enter. Okay. So only when it is required, we use, but mostly we'll use send case command as a first priority. If that is not working in rare cases in real time. We go with this particular method of entering the text into the text fields. So hope guys, you got the answer for this question. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.